Give me some of that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Childish back at it again, bringing you that episode that I always bring on this day, Rune Removal Day, um, doing the unit update and showcase to let you know if anything changed, what's the game plan for the future, so on and so forth. So, um, since I got a lot to talk about with regards to the change units, I'm not going to get too much into my units that um, um, that haven't really changed, but I'll go ahead and just kind of talk about, um, you know, a little bit and briefly. So, of course, uh, Megan. Megan's the same. 20k hit points. 191 speed. Um, nothing's really changed. The focus was swift there. And then any other um, runes that have speed, hit point, and accuracy. So, hopefully I can find some better runes that have more speed and more accuracy. But I haven't been fortunate. Um, Roke, same thing. No changes. Still waiting on an additional... Um, uh, six star violent attack rune to go ahead and fill that slot. I have two attack runes here, um, and I do have a violent um, crit damage uh, rune uh, awaiting to be utilized as well. So, unfortunately, my crit rate is low, um, but of course, he has that first attack that has the opportunity to, um, you know, attack again. So, um, I'm kind of looking. I'm kind of looking at the going violent. Um, you know, violent uh, revenge or violent, basically violent with attack, crit damage, attack, and then you know trying to get that revenge set on him in the future. Um, just because uh, it definitely would work with my you know farming of the fodder and uh, you know certain uh, PVP instances where I where I can utilize his ability to revenge and get a defense break on so. Clara, no changes there. Um, you guys have seen it before in previous videos. I have a five-star maxed attack uh, accuracy rune um, that I swap out with Clara's six-star attack rune here. Just depends on what I need. Trial of Ascensions, um, my PVE content. I'm going to be putting the you know accuracy rune on PVP. I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more damage there. Um, but I kind of prefer to keep this one on just because the subsets are too darn good to. Uh, let him go by. It gets her over 16k, um, almost 800 defense, and overall pretty decent uh, resistance for a, a unit that is uh, PvP based. Um, so yeah, uh, only one change on Jameer. I had a three star rune um, for the longest time here. I went ahead and swapped that out. A um, little bit more accuracy, a little less hit points, but um, it's all good. I mean, obviously I'm going to level this up and get a little bit more attack on it so that I can get a little bit better bonus from the attack percentage runes. Um, let's see, Lucian, no changes, still rocking uh, the fatal set here with attack, crit damage attack, looking for a six star fatal rune. I have not found, I don't have any six star fatal rage um, attack percentage runes for two and six slot. Um, that's how unlucky I've been on those runes, so I haven't been able to fully max out on um, his potential, but with the rune changes, um, you know, his attack is a little bit up now, they just made some updates, so I potentially will take this to 5 star, or sorry, to 5, plus 15, um, just to kind of help him out, since nothing else is going to change. Um, of course, Ardella, no changes here, just waiting on better runes so that I can kind of play with her again, but that being said, I have better units, so um, she's going to be very situational. Um, depending on what I need um, to do. So, um, Darian, no changes. Still sitting at 40k hit points. Um, Amon, no changes. The 30k hit points, basically 100% crit rate. Um, doing good, doing good. Um, we will be incorporating Kaz a little bit more into our arena videos, guys, um, just to have some fun with him. Um, but the... The biggest thing is the uh, recent update uh, for 1.4.2, updating all the uh, um, units. Um, he got a 20% boost in his third skill, Charging Slash. Um, in addition, in, in, in combination with the rune bonuses, um, a plus 12 now instead of 32%, 37%. Um, you know, it's quite a, quite a nice jump, and there's more reason to take these two. Um, plus 15 now um, versus other ones. Now, of course, uh, it all depends on the money you got. Um, you know, available to you, um, but uh, for right now, um, you know, they're going to stay at plus 12, and then hopefully eventually I'll get them up here 
I'm pretty happy with the uh, current sets. I'd like to see a little bit more crit rate, um, but I will I will definitely take that. So um, let's see. Next two units we'll be hitting up is Soha and Arya. They pretty much did a 100, you know, a 180 flip there as far as runes. And I'll go through my thought process why. So um, essentially she's going to be Despair Revenge, but I don't have the runes to do it. But uh, the reason being is, um, as you guys know, I've watched my videos, Soha is only utilized um, when we are um, uh, countering Chloe, right? And at the stage that I'm at, which is uh, the high end of Conquer 1, low end of Conquer 2, everybody that is utilizing Chloe, everybody that's utilizing Chloe is um, setting them up in a fashion where Chloe has the highest speed and everyone else has low speed. Why are they doing that? Because they want um, Chloe to put up her shield and allow my whole team to attack before their team attacks for, you know, for them to you know, basically waste a turn. For me to basically waste a turn and them have the opportunity to counter and go at us. So, my goal initially on Chloe was to have you know a pretty you know absurd amount of speed, but unfortunately I don't have the speed um, necessary to you know get ahead of of, of typical Chloe's these days. Um, so, what did I do? I went ahead and swapped out her runes. I'm still going with speed. I think it's hit points. Yep, hit points and um, accuracy here. I'm looking for hit point substats and accuracy substats here. Um, speed, accuracy, and hit points. So, obviously, uh, with the hit points, the more survivability I have is great. Um, but at the end of the day, she's really utilized for one thing, and that's putting on the cleanse. So, as long as her speed, whoops, as long as her speed is higher than the rest of my team. Um, you know, with with relation to you know uh, Megan, obviously. You know, not as fast as Megan, but, um, you know, faster than everybody else but Megan, then she will be the first one to go after Chloe goes. Technically, second one to go if you're counting Megan, but you know what I'm talking about. Megan's just going to buff everybody with the attack gauge boost, and then Soha will be the first one to go. So, regardless if she has 140 speed or if she has 190 speed, she will still be the first uh, to uh, take on Chloe, take him down. And make sure that they all lose their, um, you know, beneficial effects before my team of whoever it is, Lucian, Clara, whatever, um, go at it. So, um, because of that, I thought to myself, well, um, you know, Arya has a little bit higher base speed. And um, I can see reason for myself utilizing her. Again, both of those, I'd be, the, both of these I'd be using in the Despair Revenge um, setup. And unfortunately, I just don't have the runes to... Uh, place on there, um, but uh, um, for her, I do see a, a more of a use in the in the arena defense as well as the arena offense. So, um, you know, right now in uh, in my arena defense, or you know, it's basically my arena offense team, and it comes down to this: uh, you know, winning about thirty percent of the time. If my Megan is faster than their Megan or their Bernard or whatever, I win. I get my attacks off. Everything's good. If not. I lose. It's pretty much a coin flip. And of course, most people that attack me um, are confident in their ability to take me down, and they do. So I went ahead and put a unit with a high amount of speed. And of course, I'm uh, considering putting this back on, but I, I kind of wanted the uh, um, little extra accuracy to get the 100% here. So um, I'm trying to get her speed above 200 so that I can um, basically have her, you know, go, you know, right away when we first start. And have the opportunity to either stun, um, in addition to putting the glancing effects and slow effects, whatever, or or utilize her first attack. Like I, I'm, I'm kind of in a situation here where I'm in a, I'm gonna win, you know, two out of three times. You know, I'd be in a bad situation if this one goes. So if this one goes, and she does land the sleep, then her attack gauge increases, and she will get a turn real, real quick um, due to her base, you know, her total amount of speed. If I get this off, then I have the opportunity to slow everybody down, put the glancing hit, and possibly stun them, right? So, um, you know, two out of three attacks are going to be pretty darn strong, um, and so I'm looking forward to testing that out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no changes on Hua. Hua is utilizing, technically right now, she's utilizing attack, um, hit point, accuracy, but uh, eventually it'll be speed. I recently... Um, uh, got this six star speed room. 
Um, this one's great with attack, um, but as you can our accuracy, but as you can see, my accuracy is doing good. Um, Going to be, um, you know, eventually switching this out. Um, but between the accuracy that I get here and the hit points, um, it kind of helps with the survivability. That's why I have that attack rune on because I get the extra uh, hit points there. Um, 15k hit points. It's not the greatest, but for a five star Hua, that's pretty darn good. So remember, guys. Uh, I think I talk about Mushbeard with this. Um, you know, he was wondering what, how my unit you know, was set up. Um, you know, this Hua is strictly PVE. Um, there is no reason for me to utilize it in PvP at this time. Um, I can see myself in the future um, with an all-out speed team of maybe Hua, you know, Arya, um, you know, Jameer, in a fourth unit. I really don't know what I would utilize. Um, but, uh, you know, between those, you know, three or four units, um, I can definitely, I can definitely make reason to, to utilize an all speed based team. Maybe if I were to get Bernard, um, in the future, that would be pretty darn sick. Um, but, uh, uh right now, um, you know, this is the scenario that we got, we're just using it for PVE and I like it like that. So, um. Shannon, no changes. Um, Lucian, the second Lucian, you guys know I haven't been utilizing in a while, so no changes. Um, everything, uh, actually, this rune I got substituted out for the uh, for the extra resistance. So now I have 50% resistance, and when I utilize her leader skill, um, she'll be at 100% resistance. So I'm hoping that um, uh, she will you know, last a little bit longer when I'm doing uh, Giants B10. Um, still trying to get this skill up, dude. Jesus, I've been so unfortunate. I am almost maxed her out. It's crazy. Uh, hit points, attack with the hit point substats, and then hit points again. Um, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm looking for hit point percentages on the substats on these runes. Um, let's see. So, Arya is probably my number one change that I'm really happy about. Um, this is right up there, probably, to probably both number one changes here. Um... Uh, the overall stats in her basically stay the same around 20k hit points um, but as a 5 star which is great in my opinion um, but my I was able to get my crit rate at 73% um, a 40% increase um, from what um, from what it was previously it was about like 45% increase so um, you know even though these runes um, pretty much spoke, spoke for themselves uh, I did swap out this hit point rune that was on Hua with her to give her that 10% crit rate. Um, I did level this one up um, and I happened to get lucky on the substats, hit points and crit rate. And then of course this one I already had on her that had a 10% crit rate and a little bit of speed hit points. I mean, so this is one of those scenarios guys where um, this is the poster child for what it means to farm the crap out of giants, dragons, um, you know, day in and day out, um, to get the runes that you need to succeed. Um, you know, I have I have ever more reason now to go ahead and six star her just to get her um, base hit points up or whatnot. Um, because I mean, you know, her survivability definitely um, will play a vital role in you know me doing really really well. And now that I have the opportunity to crit so high. When I'm doing giants and dragons, um, because I'm utilizing uh, Darien um, over Shannon for certain situations, I don't have any units that slow. So with the crit rate, um, you know, decreasing the attack speed for two turns, this will definitely help, um, you know, slow down the boss so that I can take him down. Okay, um, we already went over um, Arya, so I think the last one here is going to be or second to last one is Bella Dion. We got her swift energy because of all the violent runes being utilized. So again, if you have violent runes, great. If not, um, I like the swift. I like swift focus, but I mean, obviously, you'll see why I'm doing swift energy uh, because of that's that's why I got the good runes for. So uh, substats, hit point percentage here, hit point defense percentage here. Just level this one up. I got stupid lucky. Um, all of the bonuses went to the um, hit point and defense percentage. Um, and then we got a nice resistance rune here that I swapped out. This one didn't change. And then I went ahead and put this uh, accuracy rune from, uh, I think it was so, so hot. No, I must have, I, I think I just randomly had this one. So I'm um, really happy with the stats. 800 defense. Um, uh, 
you know, 16k hit points, and the speed is pretty darn high. So I'm excited. Even though I don't have a violence spec, um, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty darn strong. Uh, last but not least, oh, did I not put the rest of these runes on? So we got ourselves here, Mr. Prom, that I will be utilizing in the in the future. Um, I think I was gonna use this rune. I guess I guess I'll have to play around with that. We'll just throw this hit point rune on. Obviously, the other runes gonna go on there, but uh, we don't have the uh, we don't have it leveled up yet, so I won't waste the time on the video. Um, you know, obviously the stats look stupid right now, but um, <clears throat> this is a little bit different than typical norm. Uh, because I don't have any more six star runes to utilize, um, so right now, just trying to take the benefit of the um, of the despair set. In addition to you know, in addition to his skills, um, this is like this is like the light version of Tyron. You have your third skill being able to freeze, um, and then in addition, you got to have the defense, and then of course the uh, op opportunity to hit the enemies all again uh, for the despair is going to be critting. Um, so a chance to stun, chance to hit pretty hard if their health points are low, and then of course this skill, getting the additional additional turn to attack um, is going to be nice. So um, I would love to see another uh, despair revenge kind of set up on this guy, but again the the, the revenge runes are just not falling where I want them to. So going to utilize this for now and take note. Um, the reason why I'm using a hit point rune here is for obviously the step stats. If you kind of think about it, um, essentially the um, you know, th these runes are, you know, you, you could say they're like 50 to 55% attack rune and a 50 to 55% hit point rune because of the substats. They kind of balance each other out. Even though I got hit points as primary here, I got the subsets of the attack. And then I got the attack on the primary here, I got the subsets of the hit points. So what this will allow me to do is utilize this in Trial of Ascensions as a great control unit with survivability. Um, with a little bit of survivability. So take note on the hit point percentages on these runes. Um, you know, I want to keep them alive um, long enough, and normally I think the units like this definitely have a lower amount of hit points. So, alrighty, let's go ahead and stop this right there, and we'll be back with a little segment of Arena. Be right back. Alright guys, we're back, we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and get it run down here. Let's see what we can do. Um, alrighty, so... Let's see if we can kind of prove that theory with regards to the um, what's, it, what's it called with the Chloe, you know, having the high speed or whatnot. So go ahead and um, get her Soha here. Where's she at? And since this will be. A little interesting. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring Amon here. I'm going to attempt to um, provoke Arnold and have him stay away from Lucian. Um, I could utilize Arya. She has you know more speed and whatever, but uh, um, I want the opportunity to keep my units alive as well. So let's go ahead and test it out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, fail. Not on my part, on Chloe's part. So, can't even utilize her, but we'll go ahead and try to stun uh, Tyron here. Ooh. Well, it's a good thing that they didn't get the uh, Lucian down. But, uh, obviously, as you can see, we have lost... We have lost our lovely Lucian. So, I'm going to work on... Work on our boy here. Come on, baby. That's a good thing about this, you know, having the um, um this particular setup. Oh, fail. There we go. So we'll go ahead and run this one. Having this particular setup, you know, throwing an Amon in here just definitely. Um, you know, makes it kind of uh, like, uh, you know, idiot proof or whatever, or RNG proof. So if I had bad luck and 
Lucian goes down um, with a violent spec to Amon. I have no uh, issues, you know, keeping the team alive to, uh, um, you know, continuously go. And because it provokes, it takes away the ability for the arena defense team to utilize its abilities um, that basically makes, you know, you know, the strength of the arena defense team. There's no, there's no unit out there that, you know, they put in there um, in their arena defense team because they're like, oh, their first skill is just awesome, right? You know, it's all about the second and third skills that make or break a fight, so... But uh, so far, so good. So, oh, yes, we'll go ahead and uh, address Mr. Blackie Bear. So Mr. Blackie Bear made a comment um, uh, in a previous video. I guess he was looking for, um, he was wondering why I was so low at the start of the arena reset. Um, I really don't go out of my way to, um, you know, trying to rush up into the arena because I know that everything will kind of balance out. Um, as far as getting up there, I'm sure it helps to kind of get up there and, um, you know, test some of the, you know, harder guys out there, whatever, but, um, I'm not too, I was not too concerned with that at that time, so, um, I kind of want to go ahead and take this team on here, this is, this is going to be interesting, so, um, alter ego attack, a heal, um, again, um, we'll go ahead and, um, throw Amon in the mix, and see what happens here. Gotta love that Amon being neutral to all uh, skills. Let's go ahead and take this guy's ability away. Just in case he lives the uh, attack from Lucian, which he does. And unfortunately, we have ourselves um, a heal that we gotta take advantage of. But that's okay. I'm assuming that the um, the uh, the AOE right now will take him out, which it did. Good. So now it's just a matter of um, autoing and taking it down. There's really nothing this team can do now. Um, you know, the opportunity for provoking is so high that, you know, even if, um, they get a lucky, um, um, if they get a lucky extortion or whatever, oops, well, <laughs> there you have it. That's, a, that's a fail in my book. So, um, you know, obviously I probably should have gone for, um, the water, sorry, the fire death knight, but, um, with Am on there, uh, there is no, um, concern. Because, like I said, the provoking is just going to take away the ability for them to utilize their big skills. So, unfortunately, with a violent spec, um, it's going to take a little bit longer. And it will um, obviously be a little bit slower now that uh, Lucian was uh, taken away. And why is that going to be slow? Because Lucian uh, had the hit point disturb. So, that would have slowed down. That would have slowed down uh, both of these two units from healing. So let's see. We get some RNG here. Um, again, we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and pause it right now, and then I'll come back after it's done. What's going on, everybody? We are back. We are back. Believe it or not, we actually uh, ended up drawing because it would never end. Um, I let it go for almost 10 minutes and I was like, really? <laughs> so, yeah, fail. So, but it's all good now. Um, I'll go ahead and run it out and uh, get the win. Look at that violence back go. We got to love it, though. We got to love it. All right, all right. Let's see if we can find a team that we can use. Um, the. Let me find like a fire base team or something. Let's see. Yeah, I like this one, but the um well we'll take how about we take this one out here real quick and then we'll go from there. So um I like to when I find arena teams I do like to incorporate Ari a little bit more. Um to have two units um for the hit point disturbs. It seems like her secondary skill hit point disturb just lands a lot even without the sleep. Um so I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And let's go ahead and grade. bring his attack down. Or try to anyway. Didn't know where it works, so. 
Yeah, buddy. Thrown like a big shot. Gotta wait on that beneficial blocker. Because she's about to attack now. There we go. Now is the perfect time to do it. Let's go ahead and get a reset. Attack age boost, and let's get serious. Time to wreck shit. Boom, boom, boom. Got him. Crit every time, 18k damage. Yeah, buddy. I like it. All right. Mmm, another Chloe Fest. So this one here, let's go ahead and let's do something really weird. Um, gosh, we can't really do what I want to do because um, Arya is going to go before. Let's, um... <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm doing. This is, let's get, let's get stupid with it. Let's bring in the Samurai. Let's bring in Soha. And let's use Amon to keep him up. Yeah? I kind of want Arya to be in there, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't know. We'll play around with this. We'll, so we're just going to test out the... Oh... Uh, <sighs> That's the thing we can't. Lucian's just gonna demolish everybody. It's all water units. We gotta have a way of um, taking them out right away. So that might not work. And um, Amon, you know, we can't rely on the violent spec to go off. Amon's only gonna be able to provoke one of them if he gets the opportunity to. Uh, hmm. 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 Let's, um, well, <laughs> all right, we're doing what you're not supposed to do, basically. Um, we're assuming that we're going to be able to take down, we're going to be able to remove the, the, the buff and take down Lucian right away. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully the, um, uh, Samurai gets, gets the job done. So we'll see. This is a bad setup, but we got to have fun. We got to do something different, test out some of these units, right? Oh, we got lucky here. We got to save ourselves an opportunity. Um, so here's the deal. Um, we have a better opportunity of stunning Zyros uh, versus Lucian. And Lucian's not going to, um, you know, do really good damage versus Zyros, right? So let me go ahead and try to stun him. And let's go ahead and... Um, let's see. I guess I want to try to slow her down, if I can. Looks like it worked. Ooh, ooh, what happened there? Did I, did I bring Lucian? Did I not have enough speed? Was that a fail? Was their Lucian just faster? They have, I mean, I know they have the better speed leader. Ooh, kill him. White cats, we're gonna have to come at that again, so. I guess his Lucian, me not having the speed later was too much. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, so. We'll have to keep that in. Keep so high in. We'll have to try water. We'll have to try the water one uh, next time. Unfortunately. Damn. I was kind of sad. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to see how that goes. Now, we should be good. Let's get this on just in case. There we go. That was interesting. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We got her. Let's go ahead and reset. My Lucian can get right up in there. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, that was a fail. I love it when they get get them down to like one percent, and they just it's just not enough. Cool. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and finish this one out, and then we'll see if we can find one more um, 
you know me and those 30 minute vids, not a big fan of it. Um, but um, trying to see if we can at least test out, um, you know, all the DPS units here. Ooh, kill him. Ooh. I got some neutrals up in this mug. Oh, when one's gonna go for the water though? If I bring the samurai, grrr. it's no fun. No fun at all. All right. Well. Oh, well, hey, we can do this. We can do this. So we're not we're not worried about speed. Um, we're hoping that Megan's speed is enough, right? So let's go ahead and bring in Megan, um, on Lucian, and then we'll have the Samurai. So the Samurai has an opportunity to stay alive because of uh, Amon there. We'll go ahead and provoke the uh, Wind Death Knight. And hopefully we don't get our ass handed to us by these six-star units. Come on, Mr. Samurai. Let's see what you can do. We're going to have to get some defense breaks. Ooh, look at that speed there. All right, all right. We got lucky there. Um, not really concerned about anybody to go down first. Um, so weird. I'm so used to like not um, get all these guys provoked. I love it. I love it. I love it. Lovely. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kill him. Ooh. Ooh. Kill him. Ooh. Kill him. Now, I want to, oh, man, come on, where is it at? Oh, that's the beautiful thing about um the supply, the the, the Rezzer, um, Wind Death Knight. He definitely makes it easier for me to utilize um, my amputation magic to take them all out. He evens out their hit points, so I love it, I love it. Let's see if we can get them out there. Ooh. That damage was weak. Weak, weak, weak. I guess it doesn't hurt. It doesn't help that the fact that I uh, it didn't crit or anything. So, and I have one hundred and thirty three percent crit damage here. So, let's get this guy out. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh, somebody got the Dragon Knight. Congratulations. Get out of this channel. That's a new... God, I can't. I can always forget to switch out to the channel there. Gotta get that hit point disturbed. Oh, there you go. Alrighty. Well, I haven't really had an opportunity to uh, um, showcase the um, a good amount of damage there on that third skill. Um, but hopefully in the future we can get some defense breaks and test it out, see how it goes. Um, super excited to give it a go. And who knows, maybe that'll be another six star in the mix. But, uh, we are out of arena invitations, guys. We'll go ahead and stop it right there. Thank you all for tuning in. As always, my apologies for the long videos. I'm pretty sure I carried over 30 minutes, but, uh, I love, um, bringing the rune removal day where you played around you switch out the runes, switch out the, you know, stuff, and then, and then test it out, you know, so you guys can see the changes. Now, despite what you're seeing here, um, this is, uh, this is a, a, an ongoing thing, you know, throughout the day, um, when I have the opportunity to play, I'm going to be doing this again and again and again as my reading invitations become available, as my, and energy, um, become available so I can utilize the, uh, um, you know, do the dragons and see, what works. So if you guys have the opportunity to take advantage of this, please do. Um, and not just remove the runes, but test the runes. Rune testing day, all right? Rune testing day. That's what it is. That's what it really is. Test it out on your units because um, as we've been proven time and time and again, um, the runes make the units, not the units make the runes, right? Um, the quality of the runes will make your unit shine and uh, you'll be able to do things you never thought you could do. So... That is it, everybody. It's your boy, Childish, with Childish Plays. Checking out. Take care. We will see you next time.